Tonight, there's a new contender for Maryland's state song. For years, many have called the current song, Maryland, My Maryland, called for it to be retired because of its pro-Confederate lyrics. Well, now, Congressman Jamie Raskin has helped to write a new version. News for Amy Cho spoke to the musicians behind the song. This is the current Maryland state song. It's pro-Confederate, written during the Civil War, calling Northerners scum. The University of Maryland marching band no longer plays the song. They say it doesn't align with their values. But soon, there could be a new song in the state. From the western mountains to the ocean city shore. This version, written recently, it keeps the old title, Maryland, My Maryland. Rockville to Baltimore. But that's pretty much the only thing that stayed the same. The racist pro-Confederate stuff, no, it's time to go. Representative Jamie Raskin helped write the new song. He says he wanted to honor everything he loves about his home state. It's a place where people have struggled to make things better, struggled for freedom. The song pays tribute to people like Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, Thurgood Marshall, and Elijah Cummings. Frederick Douglass threw off slavery's chain. Pianist Steve Jones helped write the lyrics. Music has a chance to hit people on a different level. There's a reason why the music was so central to the civil rights movement. The free state began to find its name. And singer London Mava bringing the vocals. She's a student at Northwestern High School in Hyattsville. I took a lot of pride in it. Most definitely, I was excited. Me being an African-American woman, you know, it, it's really like strengthening for us. The group says even if their version doesn't become the official one, they're glad to honor Maryland's history and all of its high notes. I'm coming back again. Amy Cho, News 4.